In December 2013, the Australian Government approved the dredging and expansion of the Abbott Point Coal Terminal and the 3 million tonnes of dredge spoil to be dumped in the Great Barrier Reef. But there's a bigger story behind this decision. In the Galilee Basin in central west Queensland, an Indian company called Adani want to build one of the biggest coal mines in the world, the Carmichael Coal Mine, at a time when the Earth is facing dangerous climate change. The impacts from this coal mine are more than you may think. John Graham runs Withersfield Station, a cattle station on the edge of the Galilee. John has worked this land for nearly 40 years. For him, the effects are both global and local. If climate change means more droughts, we just can't have any more droughts. The economics of farming just as tough enough as it is. Coal mines are just boom and bust. Farming, well, they just quietly goes on, just goes on. Water is the most vital of resources for Australia. Dungma Bullet Springs on the boundary of the Carmichael site help supply the river systems that flow and feed the region. This unique area is rich in biodiversity, flora and fauna, that depend on the natural springs that rise from the aquifers below. As the thirsty mine depletes the water table, the flow-on effects are felt all the way down. In a land where water is life, we may be digging our country into an early grave. Adani's Kaimichael mine at 25 kilometres long and 12 kilometres wide would be the largest coal mine in Australia, about seven times the size of Sydney Harbour. It will produce over 120 million tonnes of carbon every year. That's four times the fossil fuel emissions of New Zealand. It will use a staggering 12 billion litres of water every year or one Olympic swimming pool every two hours. And the Carmichael development will impact around 60 at-risk species, including seven mammal species, seven plant species, nine reptile species and 37 bird species. The coal from the mine would be hauled hundreds of kilometres to the coast on privately owned rail lines that will cut through farmland, floodplains and country towns. Carol grew up and lives in Collinsville, a town founded on coal, surrounded by coal mines and coal trains. About a year ago, we cleaned out my mother's water tank and it had six inches of black sludge in the bottom of it, which was a bit scary because we'd been drinking that water. Bowen, just south of Abbott Point. Terry Must is a seafood wholesaler here. We want to do tomorrow what we're doing today. And that's fair enough, that's all we want to do. In the 80s, when they had their first dredging campaign here, uh, the inshore fishery failed for two years. Although the fishing industry is not opposed to the coal, they are really concerned about the impacts on their livelihoods. It's at the cost of the fishing industry, whether it's recreational or commercial, or tourism for that matter. You know, you could be a dive operator or, you know, we're all going to pay in the end, don't we? Tubbs Wilson has lived on Abbott Point for over 30 years. He's seen the changes firsthand from the coal developments already here. When I woke up in the morning there was half an inch of coal on the top of my boat and all over the front of the boat as well. And that's just in one night. From the southeast of wind blowing, blowing it off the, um, off the conveyors. And, and I'm extremely worried what may happen if um, they start dredging that stuff up again. They're going to stir that up. and. Then if they do put it in barges and take it out closer to the reef, then they're going to spread it all in and around the reef, so they're going to kill all the fish out there too, because that stuff just doesn't disappear. I don't think they really care. They just want to sell their black coal and um, make money and stuff Australia, you know, stuff the barrier reef, they don't care. As we have seen, the real story behind the dredging extends into the heartland of Australia. It is at the source of the problem, Carmichael Mine and the Galilee Basin, that we must stop the destruction of the Great Barrier Reef. Don't let Adani anywhere near our reef.